12 now on ESPN. It's a new era in Houston Cougar football. It's the Willie Fritz era. Football game. And a third and 10 right now with Chris out of the shotgun. Chris rolling to his right, launching it deep downfield to go out of bounds. You know, is it live? Is it not live? Um, you know, look for him to run the ball a little bit here, get settled uh, as the second group of offense gets going here. Lucas Coley, been with the program. Second down and nine from the 34. A little bit of pressure. Coley fires it. The ball pops free. And what he called an incomplete pass. Never had Coley in the shotgun set. Jenkins to his right shoulder. Fires over the middle and incomplete. Yeah, it looks like that was uh, you to watch a football game and uh, you got to love it. Zion Chris back into the game at quarterback, hands it off to Sneed. Sneed running off tackle to the right side, picks up some positive yards last year and had 64 tackles. Chris, again, the handoff to Sneed up the middle. Flag flies ah. in as Sneed picked up the first down, uh, diving across the 40. Chris goes back into the shotgun set, fires it over the middle, and it's a little behind the receiver. Joseph Manjack back with Houston. Behind him, incomplete pass. Offense wearing the white, defense wearing the red. Taking the snap, pressure, they're going to roll that a sack. Of course, quarterbacks aren't live in the spring game. That's why they're wearing the black jersey. So that's spot for the Houston Cougar offense. You see three receivers bunched up to the right side. Handoff up the middle. Some positive yards, gaining a few. Yeah, you just see 10. Interesting, too, to see you know, what does this offense look like. We do have some information, of course, from Willie Fritz at his previous stops as the pass complete. Over to Burns. About five. Uh, their feet and, and where to line up, what to do and how to do it. Another handoff up the middle. It's Thomas again, and Thomas gets it across the 50-yard line. Well, here, let's see what we got. Yeah, right back to it. Smith running off to the right side. Good play on the outside. Yanked down to Leak Robbins, the old Miss 10 at the 44-yard line. Dropping back to pass McMichael. Fires left, and it's caught in the numbers left side. Reeling it in. If we get one here, we're getting close to the red zone. Second down and seven. Handoff. Up the middle, big collision around the 40-yard line. Near the first down marker will be sure, at least in the game. Third down and two, late first quarter. Another handoff up the middle. Be close to the first down. Looks like he got on the second effort. Good. Run leading the uh, offense on their best drive of the afternoon so far. Play action, stepping into the pocket, and he's going to be sacked. <laughs> on the sack was Anthony Holmes. Second down and 10. Didn't lose yardage on the play. Another handoff running left is Sherman Smith yet again. Picks up some positive yard. Pickle out of the shotgun. Three receivers to the right side. Again, a handoff up the middle. And this time it's going nowhere. Might have even lost a couple of yards. You see Holmes in on the stop. Especially in the spring game. McMichael takes a low snap. Looking left. Fires quickly. Pass caught with some space. Has the first down across the 20 and near the 15-yard line. Prior to that, Central Michigan in 21. And his offense is driving, handoff up the middle, running free across the 25 and shy of the 20. Cougars will send a receiver in motion to the left side, handoff again, their feet and Sherman Smith. Smith this time, just a, just a small gain up the... Getting good reps uh, going into training camp next year. Third and four, faking the handoff, keeping it McMichael, and they're gonna roll him dead at... From the three sounds a little better than the five. Snyder to the right side of McMichael. He'll take the handoff running left, and he dives into the end zone for the score. Surge hard run. Yeah, I love it here from the redshirt freshman, man. Like we said, it just feed him. Down, feed Couple these completions. Uh, run from the quarterback to keep the ends on, as you can see right there. The good fake from the quarterback. Great job offensive line up front in there for six points. You know, talking a couple of plays earlier, you mentioned the defensive line. You know, a lot of times we There's a point where some of this hip drop tackle, the swivel, it's, you know, it's kind of getting ridiculous. Uh-oh, here we go, a little fake reverse. Steed, the ball carrier, with Zeon to the Cougar offense. Chris hands it off. It's Sneed up the middle. Sneed fighting for extra yards, and then he's ripped down. Chris moves Sneed over to his right side ahead of a third down and six. Four-man rush, finds Sneed on the sideline right side, and a huge blow shy of the first down mark. My former teammates down on the field, current teammates a few too. Maybe we get to talk to them here in a little bit. Nice ball. Uh, Lee Ale into the game. Here we breaking go. Breaking a tackle and running free. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds. Into the defense. Ale in the shotgun set with Mathis to his left. 
Mathis takes the handoff up the middle across the 40 and near the 35-yard line. Will be a couple four for Ale out of the shotgun set. Setting up the screen, defense read it well, throws it to the left side, and a quick stop on the play. Good tackle defensively for Lule in the shotgun set. Receiver to the left, two to the right. Hands it off to Mathis running left across the 35-30, and he has the first down. Handoff on a third down, like you mentioned. The third and seven from the 39. Handoff again, running to the right side. He's going to be shy of the first down. It's Mathis to the 35-yard line. Doing a really good job with that. Houston will go for it, fourth and four. Ale wants to run. Ale breaks free towards the sideline Give near the him. first down marker. It's going to be red 32. Ale out of the gun with Mathis, fakes the handoff, wants to throw left side. It's caught after the bobble at the 25-yard line. Breaks up the sideline across the 20. I like that. The, uh, again, again, great decision. A little RPO, just a quick out route that he had the option to take on the wide side of the field. That's showing the college game. Really accurate ball, lets him run after the catch. Ale going for the end zone, and the oh, pass is man. intercepted. What a play. In the back court. What a play. One-handed catch in the back there. Looks like they're trying to take a shot, getting into the high red zone. Port Louisiana. Chris had some snaps for the Raging Cajuns in that game. All right, he rolls out of the pocket to the right side. Over the middle, a little behind the target. It's second down and 10, clock stops with a minute 10 left to go in the half. Has some time, steps into the pocket, he's going to be sacked. Anthony Holmes, I'm sure, will be four receiver set, three on the right side for Chris. He's just going to hand it off. Running to the left side is Jenkins, and Jenkins is brought down after a modest gain. We need to see if we can get a few questions out of him, see what he likes to see. Yeah, I like Makai. He's, he's done well. Got a couple national championships. Looks like they're they going back to him. Lucas Coley throwing. Uh, you know, weren't, weren't the biggest guys undersized, but you just knew where they were going to be, and they were going to win. They were going to catch the ball when it was in the air. Handoff on second and ten. I'm sure it's a quarter for Coley and the offense. Handed off right side, looking for some space. Diving forward for another small game. There's running backs, uh, and really in a two-minute drive, it uh, it all heightens and it quickens up. McMichael sacks. Again, good pressure by... It'll be Chris starting the uh, second half on the offensive end. It's the jet sweep running to the right side and a huge loss. It's Gaston, a second down and 10 for Chris out of the shotgun. Second guy, we've called uh, Gaston's name, though. Roll out to the left side, looking to throw, throws it left side. Flag comes down from the uh, the back judge. Motion man is Manjack. Chris looking to throw, pressure, flushes the pocket to the right side. He's going to tuck and run, cuts inside, early whistle. Seven Lakes, though, and Katie was a quarterback at Seven Lakes. Chris again with some pressure, he just throws it away. Looks like they're trying to set up the screen, never develop, pressure in the face. Chris takes the snap and a shotgun set. Four-man rush. Chris going deep over the middle of the field. It's intercepted by Halsey. Halsey, the fifth back was the intended receiver over the middle. Threw up for grads. And Spotted at the 40-yard line. Breaking a tackle up the middle across the 50 to the 40. Down to the 30, 20, down the right sideline to the 10-5 touchdown. Parker Jink. He showed some speed on that. He broke a tackle when you pressure. There's nobody deep to help make a tackle in pursuit. And man, my guy Jenkins showing the spam to give you a chance when it comes down to it. You got a chance to beat anybody. Mickle hands it off to Mathis as Mathis plows forward. Of the offense, and even if you're handing it off, you gotta do a good job making decisions. He's got an option right there to throw the, oh baby. Mathis the Let's leap go. over a defender. But, uh, that blown up. Mathis will never let him forget about it. <laughs> First down and 10 from the 25. And the ball thrown away. The left side, intended receiver was Manjack. Mickle get rid of that ball if you pull it on these RPOs. Those, those defensive ends sometimes aren't blocked. The lineman's not expecting uh, quarterback to be throwing the ball. Mathis breaking free inside the nickel of the shotgun set. And motion on the offense. Back it up five more yards. Evan Rogers jumping across. That's a great name. Beautiful name. McMichael, pressure again, throws off his back foot deep down the left sideline, and it is incomplete. Oh, those are game-changing plays. 
Uh, McMick was showing some good stuff here uh, in the spring game. Third and 15, steps into the pocket. Manjack might have collided with the official that disrupts. <laughs> I was hoping the spread would be a little bit better, maybe a little buffet style, but uh, nothing yet. I smell some stuff from the concession stands. Here we go. Counter running to the right side. Maybe missed tackles. Those, those line, uh, safeties need to come down and make the play. Ale throwing it deep down the right sideline. Diving effort, and the catch is pulled down. Play with some tempo. The thing I remember the most was the, it looked like the coin flip. You remember that? <laughs> uh-huh. Here we go. Throw over the middle. Touchdown. Leading the offense on this possession for Houston. Handoff up the middle. Jenkins breaks the tackle. Bounces to the right. Takes it across midfield. Chris awaits the snap. Hands it off to Jenkins. Jenkins looking for some space, never opens up. And that Cougar defensive line allows nothing from the 43-yard line. Handoff running left is Sneed. Sneed tries to cut it back inside, but again, can't find any space. Cougars for the, the red and white here, University of Houston. I'm telling you, that uh, it will just add to the program's depth. Here we go. Chris takes it near the 40. June 12th, first contact doesn't really suit what his strengths are. Good catch on a low snap, throws it out into the flat right side, caught by Sneed, and Sneed's going to give the Cougars close. Ivan quarterback, where a lot of those plays, uh, those little gray area plays that Timmy made, um, it's hard to find those uh, when, when the quarterback's not live. So yeah. it's Chris out of the shotgun set. Quick throw to the left side, and it was deflected at the line, and it falls incomplete. There's Latravian, the linebacker, Latrell, the corner. Third and four, a flag flies on the handoff left side across the 20-yard line. Now those are two words synonymous with that program that Fritz wants to make synonymous here. Chris is going to tuck and run, and a tackle made. It's McCutcheon again that was in the area that we got. And a sneed to his left shoulder. Fires it into the end zone right side. Catch is made. Is he inbounds? He is. So it's Cougar score. I love this. Great ball by Chris, giving his guy a chance, putting it with air to really nowhere else but for the receiver to catch it, knowing where he's at on the field, gets his one foot in. And, and communication and relationship between the coordinator, obviously with Barbe, Sean, and then uh, and then uh, the quarterback. So he's doing a great the program now under Fritz, the staff, the recruiting, all of it. All of it will be fun to follow along with as the Carry goes up the middle across the 45. Some flashes from everybody, uh, but all the positions. Running back, we've seen it by committee. We got to get some offensive line, defensive line, every, get everybody reps. Zock in the shotgun set. Hands it off, Polk up the middle, and he's yanked down shy of the first down. A tackle for loss. Interesting seeing all the new schools in the, uh, in the Big 12 again. It is different. The college landscape has just changed tremendously. And, uh, you know, I, I think there's some new rival world that day. Uh, I started my first NFL start for the Texans. I, I doubt it'll be that loud at Kansas, but it's a great place to play, play football. Yeah, that is uh, looking forward to that. He just doesn't throw. Uh, expectations that he'll be good to go for camp. It depends on the recovery. Here's a reverse running to the left. You know, big collision. Taking it out near the right to the left. Three receivers to the right side. Lobs oh, it. What, what a, a catch. catch. <laughs> It's by Snyder across the uh, 35 into the 30, where he runs into a, a group one-handed grab. Sock throwing it over to the right side. Catch is made. This is Mikel Harrison Pilot. Double numbers. Mm -hmm. Second and four, Sock over the middle. Pass is caught inside the 20. Cougars into the red zone. It's Matt Burns. A lot during the fall. Seeing more from younger guys. Here we go, take a shot. Launching it towards the oh, end zone, oh, incomplete. Pass oh. was actually intercepted on the deflection. Yeah, you knew they were going to take a shot here. Uh, you know, I thought the ball might have been over there. Running to the ball. If he doesn't run to the ball, he doesn't make that play. That's a great, great play by... Uh... Offense will spread it out a bit in the pistol. Just turn and hand it off. Up the middle. On the carry is Polk. That's going to do it in the red-white spring game. Good football, a little bit for everybody. Offense did its thing in the second half of the you know, and, you know, you put all these expectations on a game-like situation, all these things, and you know, the offense may have, may have taken its time.